Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, this is the first of the videos where we're actually going to do a little bit of programming. So this video and the next couple videos, we're going to learn about variables and we're going to get kind of the basic idea of like what is a function and why is that important in programming. And then we're going to do some operations with those variables and we'll look at some functions and things like that. Okay, so in this though video, we're, all we're going to talk about is what is a variable. So variables... Variables in programming, you can think of them as just kind of like a, a box. And in this box, we're going to put some type of information. And in Python, you have a couple different types of information. So the first type of information is just going to be a number. Okay, so a number actually has a, a couple, um, couple subcategories. So the first subcategory is uh, an int. And an int is just short for integer. So this is int is an uh, integer. Okay, And this is, uh, you'll, most of the time you're going to see int. Uh, you actually will never see this in the actual programming part. You're never gonna actually write the word int. Uh, in other programming languages, you might write the word int. So an integer, that is, as you probably know, like negative one, zero, one, dot, 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 and so on like that, okay? Uh, the Another number that you're, you might see, or that you definitely will see, is something called a float. And float actually stands for floating point. Okay. And a floating point number is, all that is, is something like, uh, I don't know, 1 1.2, uh, negative 37.8. Zero point zero 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 one numbers like that. Okay, so those are all different types of variables, uh, integers and floats. There, uh, all of these are examples of these type of numbers. Okay, uh, the other type of variable that you're going to see quite a bit, and I'm going to need to plot this over here a little ways, is a string. Now you're just going to see str and str stands for, uh, let's stick with the color co color coding I've been using here. So you're going to see str, and str stands for string. Okay, so string, that's just text. So text is going to be anything along the lines of, you know, let's we'll go back to our hello here. Hello. Okay, so there's your text. All right, another type of variable, we're kind of running out of room here, is something called a bool. And a bool is, well, a, a bool is also known as a, a Boolean. If you know what a Boolean variable is, you might have heard of Boolean algebra. Uh, in this case, a Boolean is just going to be true or false, and that's the only things it can be. Now, I should really specify that this is just some basic variables, okay? And I should also specify that it's not necessarily basic variables, but if we're gonna use the programming terminology, I would say basic variable types, okay? So, these are the basic variable types in Python and actually in a lot of different programming languages. There are many, many other different types of variable types. And we're going to look at a lot of those in later lessons. But in this lesson, I just want to look at uh, numbers, strings, and Boolean variables. Okay, so these are some basics. And this word type is actually really important because in, in programming, you have 
types of variables like int, float, string, and, bool and boolean, but you also can make your own types, and you can also uh, use types created by other people. And you're going to learn a lot more about that later on, uh, but for right now, just realize that type, the word type and typing and other things like that are very, very important in uh, computer science. Okay, so let's go to our prompt and let's run Python. Now you could do so this in Sublime as well, but uh, for right now, this is just pretty simple stuff. So it, we're just going to use uh, Python. So we're going to create some variables in here. So a variable name can be one letter or many letters. It can have numbers and underscores. You really can't have exclamation points and uh, the other symbols that you might see above the numbers, number keys, but you can write something like A. So let's say I'm going to make A uh, equal to five. And then I might make another thing. I'm going to put A, I'll put A number is equal to 10. Okay. Or I could write a really big, actually, let's do this. I'll write A underscore uh, really big number is equal to da 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 da. Oh, da, da, da big number there okay so I just defined three different variables uh, I can also uh, create let's create another one here let's create B is equal to 5.5 and C uh, is equal to 0 0.001 okay so all I've created so far is a bunch of number uh, variables these are all numbers but they have very specific types so these are integers these are all going to be integers, a, a number, a really big number. Those are all integers. Uh, B and C are floating point numbers, okay, because they have decimals. So how could I actually check that? How could I figure out what type of variable something is? Well, there's a function, and I'm going to talk about what functions are in more detail in the next video. But for now, if you want to know what type of variable you're looking at, you type the word type, and then you take the variable name, you throw it in the parentheses here and hit enter. And it will tell you that it is an int type. And if you type C, it'll tell you that it is a float type. Okay, so the it says class here. Don't worry about what that means right now. Just look at this. It's telling you that the variable A is an int and the area variable B is a float. Okay. Uh, now the other two variables I told you about, uh, let's go ahead and create a couple of those. Uh, let's create a string. So let's, I'm going to write uh, txt for text, and I'm going to write hello. And then I'm going to write another variable. I'll write, uh, I don't know, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can use anything you want. Uh, hello, oh, Margaret. Oh, let's say Margie. Okay. So if I type these, meaning if I find out the type of variable they are, I can do type txt, and it will tell me str, which means string, and I do the same thing for d, it tells me string again. Okay. Well, what about uh, the Boolean variables? Now, there's one very specific thing on a Boolean variable, is that if you're creating a Boolean variable, you have to capitalize the the word so it has to be true with a capital T now if I find the type it says class boolean now you might have noticed that I've used all all these different variables in here all different names so if I want to find out the value of a, a variable I can type a and it will give me five now if I say a is equal to a hundred and then I type a again it now has changed to a hundred so variables can be changed to anything you want at any time. You can change anything, okay? So if I want to change A into a string, I can actually do that. I can type uh, A and I'll put tree in here. Now, if I type A, A is now a string uh, instead of an integer. Or I could make A this, or I could make A is equal to a Boolean. It doesn't matter. All that's happening inside the computer is it's saying, 
okay, you, you're now using this name for something different. A is becoming a string or a Boolean or an integer or a floating point. It doesn't really matter. Okay, the Python doesn't care what you're putting into to that variable. It's just worried about as long as you only have one variable called A and that one variable A has some information, it doesn't matter what type of information actually goes in there. Okay, so these are all variables and that's the type that you're gonna you're gonna have for the variables could be any of uh, these here okay and we're gonna add a whole bunch more types on later but for right now for the next couple videos we're just worried about integers floats strings and booleans okay all right so take a look at these uh, go ahead and play you can play around in here for a little bit creating variables I would recommend just getting used to you know looking at the type of something we'll come back and use that again in the next video uh, as long as well as using a couple other different functions uh, that we'll play with as well okay all right so see you next video and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments